Hey, hey, welcome to Satan Recommends. So I just inherited some turtles from my in-laws and they, um, they, their, their filter system wasn't, just wasn't working anymore. It wasn't up to par, right? So I went and bought a new one. Uh, and it's a turtle filter FX350 from, where is it at? Exoterra, right? And if we all know, if we ever tried to put it together, these instructions are like jibber jabber, but I did finally figure out what the hell that thing is. So I'll let you know in a second, right? So this is kind of what the system, the main part of the system looks like, okay? Way to take this off. They have clamps right here, so it's like that uh, up, out, okay? Up and out, up and out, all right? And that lifts up, all right? Push that back down, click, click, click. Excuse my dogs. Click, right? Outtake valve is uh, near the power cord. Intake valve is on the other side. So real quick, you're going to get some tubes and some other plastic parts. So this is the way to set up tubes. You got your C-clamp, short tube on one end, a longer tube on the other end. All right. You can set up that basic, that, uh, just like that, basically that way. Short tube, C-clamp, long tube. Now what you're going to do is, depending on the size of your tank, you're going to cut the longer tube to your desired size. I haven't cut these yet. I'm just going to do a short little tutorial right now just to show you guys how to set it up. Main thing you want to make sure that you're doing is when you put the clamps on, when you put the tubes in, make sure you screw down the nuts so that it's clamping around the plastic. Don't screw it down too tight to where you're going to break the, the, the plastic nut though, all right? So, outtake valve. We'll start off with that one. Again, short tube. Tighten those nuts down. Cut this to your desired length. And then you're going to get the harder tube with either the holes on the inside. Boom, can you guys see that? The holes on the inside. And then the little L shape, the 90 degree tube right here. Again, tighten down the nut. So you can either use this piece with the holes or you can use this piece, which kind of gives a little more forceful, um, I guess, flow outside. So I'm going to use this one just to, because I want to. Okay, so you're going to put this on the out valve. Like I said, it's the one closer to the, what you call it. So you're going to have to maybe use a little bit of force. Boom. Get it on there. All right. Make sure you screw that up and tight. Aye. All right. And the intake valve. Okay. Again, C-clamp. Short tube. Be quiet. Long tube, cut it to your desired length, and you're going to put the plastic, another hard, the hard plastic tube with no holes, but you're going to put this little filter on the end so it doesn't suck up any pebbles in there or anything. And again, you're going to put this on the intake valve. All right, bring it up, make sure it's on there nice and tight. Okay, good. And then all you have to do is set it in your tank. So before you put anything in your tank and before you turn on your system, you want to make sure that you fill it with water. So this hole right here, boom, this little notch right here, you're going to turn it. You might have to dig your nails in here a little bit, pop it off, fill it completely with water and make sure you see the two little notches right in there. Boom. You're going to set it back in the same way where the two little notches are. Set it in there. I'm in an awkward position. Close it. All right, and then I'll kind of spin you around. Again, I didn't cut my tubes yet. I'm just doing a tutorial. I'm gonna spin it around. This is kind of the tank. It's not the setup that I want yet. But here's the clamps to, to pay that out of the way. Here's the clamps to put on right underneath the bottom. It slides right on. It sits right to the back. Boom, and you'll put your tubes inside. You'll cut them. You can cut them now. You can cut them later. Doesn't matter. They also have suction cups, so you can just place them on there. Stick them to the back of your tank so they suction. So that obviously my turtles are very active, and they won't uh, hit them off as easily. All right. So, boom. Hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah.